order to make this world a cuter place, there's just one simple thing to do. Cutify all the things. Cutify everything. Everything. Today, we are going to cutify black coffee. Black coffee. Black coffee. My favorite coffee is black coffee, but I always, always have it accompanied with something sweet like gummy candy or a cookie because it's just so bitter. When you eat something really bitter, I end up making a face like and if I'm not careful, it might stay like this forever. Sugar now! I got the idea when I visited Skytree in Tokyo. On the ground floor of Skytree, there is a massive selection of shops. Some of the prefectures have their own shop to promote their unique qualities. I personally am a huge fan of Tochigi Prefecture as it is the home of strawberries and alpacas. It is also a birthplace to my favorite Japanese sweet, Ichigo Taifuku. And because Tochigi Prefecture is basically strawberry land, like they're trying to strawberryfy the world. No, seriously, I even saw strawberry curry. But still nothing tops strawberry coffee. I actually didn't need to buy strawberry coffee because I have my own receipt to make strawberry coffee and I'm gonna show it to you later. But if it's something as serious as strawberry coffee, we must consult strawberry land before. Let's get started. <laughs> Freshly brewed strawberry coffee. The aroma is really fruity, just as if you would smell a fresh strawberry, which makes you believe that this coffee is actually aromatic and fruity. But then, when you drink it, it's the complete opposite of what it smells like. Why? But you know what's really bothering me? What's about as expensive as Starbucks? The bitterness literally numbs my tongue. Uh, uh, so I'm just gonna stop drinking now and show you my very own strawberry coffee receipt. Yay! Let's mix two teaspoons of instant coffee with hot water or like you would normally do your coffee. But then add two teaspoons of strawberry jam and mix until dissolved. Easy peasy, right? Homemade freshly brewed strawberry coffee. First, when you take a sip of this coffee, it's like you're biting into a strawberry. Then you realize it's actually coffee. It tastes like coffee, but it also tastes like strawberry. It also looks really cute that the coffee has a slightly reddish tint because of the strawberry jam. It's like a fruity coffee. Go guys, go make strawberry coffee right now. There is a strawberry filled inside this cup of coffee. Tell me guys if you've tried this out. If there's anything else that must be cutified in this world, comment below. See you again in my next video. Boop, bye bye, boo. Boop, bye bye, boo.